Greetings, Imperial citizens. Well, I, I cleaned up after my last video, and uh, while the uh, while my Star Wars room is in uh, decent, tidied shape, I figured I'd give you all a quick tour. It's uh, definitely not quite as big as uh, other Star Wars rooms, but uh, it's mine, and uh, here's a here's a quick tour. All right, starting with the wall behind me, uh, for whatever reason, decided to uh, stack all of my vintage uh, Star Wars boxes from floor to ceiling. Uh, almost everything is full. Uh, the big ticket items like uh, like the barge and uh, the, the Razor Crest are, 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 not, uh, are not full. And definitely not the uh, vintage items. But uh, let's start, uh, let's take a quick start, do a little pan over. Uh, definitely gonna be adding to uh, this soon, at least with another uh, uh, six pack uh, retro box. Uh, I still remember picking up that Sny Stoodles, uh, Sny, Sy Snoodles, uh, band pack at a department store in Pennsylvania. Um, I actually have two of the Scout Rock Walker boxes. Uh, one's mine. This one's mine. Uh, the other one I have is, uh, I, I'm not sure where I got it from some private collection. Uh, my job at the hut. Uh, this Interceptor I got, uh, with a beautiful Interceptor inside, I got this from a mall in Pennsylvania that's been since closed, but I got that in the late 90s. But, uh, let's take a quick, uh, quick pan over this way. Um, uh, the only, the only vintage boxes that I, I don't have are the sequel, uh, vintage box, boxes. I decided for whatever reason not to, uh, not to get those, and I, I kind of regret it, but it is what it is. Um, I do have Poe Dameron's, uh, Dameron's X-Wing. Uh, he's just not displayed here. So, uh, both the Adats, I got all three of the uh, Slave Ones, uh, three of the X-Wings, and then uh, the big ticket items, big boxes on the bottom, which is uh, the Millennium Falcon, uh, this Imperial Shuttle, which I got in Arizona like last year, Great find, the box is great. It's a pristine shuttle inside. And then of course the barge. Um, you know, all the, like I said, all the vintage uh, boxes are mine from childhood. Uh, I, I was able to keep the smaller boxes, the bigger boxes, my folks unfortunately decided there was no room and got rid of them. Uh, just dug out the speeder bike box and all these uh, mini rigs, which, which I really, which I really loved. I love the mini rigs because because uh, I actually have them. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of the bigger ships. Um, a few figures uh, here and there, um, just to give a just to give a little life. Uh, there we go. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on to my sadly sun sun damaged uh, big Millennium Falcon uh, with uh, the Super Seven black hole figures. Uh, in the back. Uh, I'm going to put shelves in in this corner and build it up and put more stuff on. Uh, moving on to uh, the table that I've been uh, shooting. Uh, I especially shot my last uh, communique on here um, uh, with with uh, the new cantina that I got. Uh, I never had one as a kid. Um, I got this for a very reasonable price and it's in really great shape too. It's just uh, just missing a sticker here. Uh, but otherwise, I'm incredibly happy with that. Can't wait to put that on permanent display. Um, and this is my uh, my Return of the Jedi sleeping bag. Um, yeah, I used to sleep sleep in that all the time. All right, back uh, back in the wall with these uh, custom shelves that I, I built, uh, put in for these displays. Uh, They'll change up a little bit over time, but uh, let's start with the top and one of uh, a few of uh, the uh, uh, gunships that I have, uh, clone gunships. Uh, I only have the one on display. And then uh, some expanded universe stuff, specifically uh, Force, uh, Force Unleashed. The San Diego uh, six pack of the uh, uh, Lost Line figures with the uh, 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 carbonized uh, Jar Jar inside. Uh, it's a favorite, very cool. Uh, the Disney Sandcrawler and uh, the uh, was the, the troop, the uh, clone uh, transport, uh, clone transport. 
Uh, these guys, man, I, I love these guys. I, I'm gonna find a better place to put them. Um, they're just very cool. Uh, there's a slave one. I must uh, go here to the, uh, just before the Battle of Yavin shelf with uh, both uh, the Andor, most of the Andor figures, um, and uh, Solo. And coming on this way, we've got uh, we've got a B-Wing with uh, the B-Wing pilots and the A-Wing pilots. I'll try to squeeze an A-Wing in there sooner, sooner or later. And then we got the sequel trilogy shelf with uh, some of the Force, Awaken, Force Awakens figures, uh, Last Jedi, and then Rise of Skywalker. Uh, the Poe Dameron ship is just... That's just magnificent, the podium and X-Wing. X-Wing. Uh, we got the uh, shelf that I uh, usually photograph loose figures or package figures when I get them. I'm going to put some lights here. Uh, the whole shelving system is going to be lit. I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, this stack is all vintage cards, um, mostly... They're not all of my vintage cards. Unfortunately, I don't have the all of my original twelve back uh, Star Wars cards. But you know, here's a uh, but here's a Stormtrooper twelve back. So kept kept this one. Uh, I guess I got two of them. So I only have two Stormtroopers uh, from from childhood, and they were the card backs. Uh, these are I gotta display these better. Uh, Carded Weque, uh, Klaatu, and Nine Numb. Uh, yellowed, yellow bubbles, otherwise I would get them graded. Uh, this guy from Droids I found in an antique shop uh, a few years back uh, on a little mini vacation up north. That was definitely an exciting find. All right, moving up to the uh, Rebel Pilot shelf. Uh, I think I got all the Rebel Pilots represented here. Uh, Starting with uh, Gold Leader through uh, Gold... Uh... Okay, I don't have Biggs there, only because uh, I have him somewhere else. Uh, but I do have Biggs. Or, or Porkins, rather. Porkins. Um, and some of the Expanded Universe uh, figures as well. Uh, yeah, I don't have Porkins. Where, where did I put him? He's in the ship, probably. All right, moving down to uh, Rebel Soldier Shelf, uh, right, right here. Uh, starting off with a bunch of the Hoth figures with uh, this vehicle from uh, Hole in the Ground Productions. I uh, really like his stuff. That's a uh, resin. This is pretty heavy, but it's resin. Uh, the Rebel Corridor with the uh, all unique Rebel Soldier uh, heads, and then uh, some uh, some Endor, Endor soldiers. And then uh, probably my favorite of the shelves is uh, my two Death Stars. Uh, the one on the uh, the one on the on the right with uh, with the gun is my original from childhood, and the second one is uh, one I acquired uh, you know more more recently in the last ten years. Uh, for I, the gun works, I just I'm missing the part. It's misplaced in a box somewhere. Um, but the, the one, uh, my childhood one is absolutely complete. I even have the rope and everything. Uh, you know, the only thing obviously that's disintegrated is the, uh, is the, um, um, foam in for the trash compactor. Um, and I'm back, uh, I've got the, a carded, uh, uh, original, uh, Royal Guard and, uh, a carded Emperor way back there. Like I said, I'm going to get lighting in there. Um, moving on to the best bin shelf. Uh, I did a short, uh, for this one, but uh, I tried to do uh, a bunch of little scenes from the movie, like Luke dangling, uh, obviously the carbon freeze chamber, uh, Luke and Yoda on Dagobah, uh, uh, there's a uh, ice cream maker guy on Tortured, No, I Am Your Father, um, you know, and you can see all the scenes like there. Uh, the guards pushing uh, Han Solo and Carbonite. Got the Cap Two, uh, Luke, Chewie, and uh, Chewie and, Land and Lando escape. And then the duel with uh, you know most of the Besma guards there. Slave One. Uh, coming down to uh, the 
Mandalorian shelf. I think I've got all of the Mandalorian figures uh, represented here. Um, definitely one of my favorite shelves. All right. Um, oh, let's uh, talk about real quick about all these stormtroopers. So, uh, like I said, only two are mine. Uh, this one in particular, uh, that one my dog bit the toe off of, but uh, that one's definitely mine. Um, um, a lot of these I uh, acquired from another collection. Uh, like I got ten in one collection. That was <laughs> that was quite a, that was quite a day. And then a few of these are, are newer from the retro collection. Um, this shelf is all the stormtroopers. Um, there are 208 stormtroopers. So I've got uh, originally, you know, I've got the original, um, got the retro collection, the uh, Mandalorian one there. But uh, I, I just don't have Luke displayed here. I only have one. He goes on a different display. But uh, starting back with Power of the Force and going in order. Through, through the ages. And it occurs to me there's two missing only because I'm uh, doing some, uh, I'm, I'm not painting those figures, but I'm using them to uh, do two customs. So it's the, uh, it's the blue uh, Lando Stormtrooper from the comic pack and, uh, and uh, Sergeant uh, Hark Harkis, which uh, goes with uh, Joker Squad, which is, where are they? They're right there. All right, going down one, uh, a little uh, classic scene here, Endor, with the uh, all vintage figures that I'll probably uh, display or change uh, on occasion, on my whim. Uh, the barge yak face. And then coming down to uh, the shuttle, uh, the, the shuttle shelf uh, with uh, Vader overseeing. Um, Bunch of guards, got some uh, vintage uh, uh, mini rigs in there. I uh, got two of my four uh, INT fours, which are my absolute favorite, and another Holy Ground production uh, uh, piece right there. Um, going up here, got a few uh, the Obi Wan figures, uh, all of them that they have, and then back there is my graded uh, Luke. Um, it's a 21 back B card. Uh, it got graded, uh, what is it, an 80? No, it's a 75, but still, it's uh, the bubble is pristine, uh, so I'm very happy. I got that from a buddy from work. Um, all right, moving on to the Separatist shelf. Um, I've got just about every single droid, uh, battle droid that they made, and somehow they're standing. But uh, let's go over here, let's start uh, this a little quick, uh, quick uh, pan over. How these are standing, we'll never know. And then down to the Revenge of the Sith shelf. I should have all the Revenge of the Sith clones and a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, uh, customs like that one right there. But uh, should have all the best represented. And then uh, some Clone Wars era with uh, some of the ARC clones, uh, more expanded universe stuff. And then Attack of the Clones. Again, should have one of each clone that they made represented from that era, whether it's from the Clone Wars cartoons or the video game like the Clone Commandos right there. Um, floor, just a couple items, uh, some dewbacks and stuff on the floor. All right, and then uh, that's almost, it's almost over. Uh, some of the six inch here, um, the cantina, and uh, one of my favorite Micronauts ever, and I'm flaking on the name right now, <laughs> like Predator or something like that. Um, it's my original childhood falcon uh, that stayed uh, fairly much in good shape. And uh, this will go in a different display case, but I've got all the uh, Super 7 Alien figures and the big, uh, is it, uh, Biff Bang Pow uh, Flash Gordon figures. Could not resist those. 
And then uh, in the closet here is uh, most of my vintage collection with uh, with all my uh, uh, loose um, loose uh, Star Wars figures. So I think that should be it. Um, yeah, uh, such it is. Quick tour. Um, Hopefully I'll be cranking out another uh, communique really soon. Until then, uh, you guys all know what to do. Peace out.